Would you like to build your own e-commerce application to make money selling online stores? You can do it with our free course on how to build a multi-tenant e-commerce platform with WildCloud. We've crafted a course packed with seven lessons that will guide you step-by-step -step to learn how to leverage multi-tenant WordPress and WildCloud to empower your clients to create and manage their online stores. You'll learn how to build the necessary WildCloud applications, how to build a global front-end dashboard to allow your users to manage their stores without having to use the normal WordPress dashboard, and even how to design pre-built websites and automate subscription sales. This course is for you whether you want to generate recurring revenue, gain experience as a web developer or add web apps to your portfolio. And with no code tools, this course is accessible to everyone with basic WordPress knowledge. Sign up for our course now and start your journey towards mastering the art of multi-tenant e-commerce platforms. Welcome to the fourth lesson of our free course on how to build a multi-tenant e-commerce platform on WildCloud. In this lesson, we'll show you how to build a front-end dashboard site so that instead of using the normal WP Admin dashboard of their own sites, your clients manage their sites from a fully customized user interface on the front-end. But first, what is a front-end dashboard? As you know, to manage a normal WordPress site or a tenant in the WildCloud ecosystem, we must use the WP Admin dashboard. This is what users would normally see when managing their online stores on your platform. However, this is not the best option especially if we are creating a customized platform to sell sites in online stores that is similar to other options like Shopify, Wix, etc. We need our own user interface. This is where the concept of a global front-end dashboard becomes necessary. A global front-end dashboard is a normal WordPress site or a tenant in the WildCloud ecosystem where you configure a custom dashboard for your entire platform. WP Frontend Admin allows you to display any WP Admin page on the front-end to create custom dashboards, web apps based on WordPress plugins, etc. In the case of multi-site networks or WildCloud multi-tenant applications, WP Frontend Admin allows you to use a specific site as the global dashboard from which all your clients will be able to manage their own sites. When they try to open the WP Admin dashboard of their own sites, they will be automatically redirected to the global dashboard site. WP Frontend Admin is compatible with any WordPress theme or page builder, so you can design your frontend dashboards the way you want. Something great is that we have created some beautiful front-end dashboard templates for Elementor, which you can easily import with our template wizard to speed up the process of creating front-end dashboard pages even more. And if you don't want to use any of these templates, although we recommend it because of how quickly you can build a front-end dashboard for your platform, you can build your dashboard using any template from any WordPress theme or page builder. But enough introductions! Let's see how to create a front-end dashboard for our multi-tenant e-commerce platform. We first need to create a new site or tenant on WildCloud. The client tenants or sites will be automatically connected to our front-end dashboard site, so that when clients try to open the WP Admin dashboard to manage their sites, they will be redirected to this site, which will contain all the necessary front-end admin pages. After logging into your WildCloud account, you need to open your platform application not the storefront application. As you can see, we haven't added any tenants or sites to this application, so let's click on the Add Tenant button. You need to add the site or tenant's name, which at the same time will be the site's subdomain prefix. You can add a custom domain or subdomain later though. Once you're ready, click on Submit. You'll have to wait for some seconds until the status is ready. After creating the site, you can click on the site name to see more options. If you click on the URL, you'll visit the site, but that's not what you need for now. If you want to add a custom domain to this site, just follow the instructions in the Domains tab, then just select the new domain as main domain. However, we will use the default domain in this example. Something important is that for this site, we are going to deactivate the WAS Client plugin, since this site will not be a client site nor a site template for clients. To do this, go to the WP Plugins tab, select the WAS Client plugin, and click on Deactivate. We will also activate the other plugins in case they're inactive for this tenant. Now that we have created the site, we're ready to start building our global front-end dashboard. 
To log into the dashboard site, click on the login button. Before creating the front-end dashboard pages, let's look at some preliminary steps. First, we will change the site title because WildCloud adds a generic name to all the sites. Let's go to the general settings of the site, where we can change the site title and save the changes. Second, we will remove all the sample content that is created by default when creating the site. For example, let's go to Pages and remove all the pages. We don't need the WooCommerce pages on this site. Third, we can set the site's logo since our front-end dashboard Elementor templates will automatically use this logo. For this we need to make sure that this site has an active theme that allows us to select the logo from the customizer. Go to the customizer and change the site's logo. Please note that in this example we're using the Cadence theme, but you can use your favorite WordPress theme. Fourth, we need to select this site as the global front-end dashboard site. To do this, let's go to the WP front-end admin multi-tenant settings and select dashboard site. Once you do that, click on save to apply the changes. Now we're ready to start building our front-end dashboard pages. When it comes to creating your front-end dashboard pages, there are at least three options you can choose from. First, you can create your front-end pages without using any page builder. In this case, the appearance of the pages will be the same of your site, depending on the theme settings you select. There are two ways to do this. You can create the page manually, enter the short code in the content of a page, and click on Preview. Or you can go to any WP Admin page and click View on the front-end, which will create the page automatically and add the short code to it. Please note that the shortcode contains the URL of the WP Admin page between the quotation marks. You can copy the shortcode from the text version of this lesson, to which you can access by following the link in the description of this video. This approach is still easy, but it will require some time for you to create the pages one by one. Second, you can use any WordPress page builder to create your front-end dashboard pages. You just have to create and design your page using your favorite page builder, and add this short code where you want to display the admin page on the front end. Finally, click on preview to display the admin page on the front end. This approach gives you unlimited possibilities for designing your front end dashboard, but it will still require a lot of time for you to create the pages one by one. Third, we want to show you the fastest and easiest way to create beautiful front end dashboards that your platform users will love. With our front end dashboard template wizard, you can build a front-end dashboard with a few clicks and save a lot of hours. You won't have to spend time designing every aspect of the front-end dashboard because you can use any of our importable Elementor templates. Here you'll see a welcome page. Then we'll corroborate that you have all the necessary plugins installed. However, if you want to install or activate any plugin, you'll have to do it in the version. That's why we recommended you to do it in lesson two of this course. Now you need to select the template you want to use to build your front-end dashboard. As you can see, we have created a variety of front-end dashboard templates that you can use to easily build a beautiful user interface. Next, you need to select which pages you want to include in your front-end dashboard. For this, you just need to tick the pages you want to add to the front-end dashboard. The global front-end dashboard must have all the pages that users of our e-commerce platform will need to manage their own sites. So include all the pages and features that your clients will need to manage their own sites. An important thing to keep in mind is that the pages that our clients can access will depend on two things. First, it will depend on the capabilities or permissions of the user role assigned to them when creating a site on our platform. Second, it will depend on the plugins enabled for the tenant role assigned to the site at the moment of creating a site on our platform. Once you have selected the pages, you need to click on Next. Clicking Next will start the process of several steps that will be carried out automatically. This process includes importing the selected dashboard template, creating the dashboard pages, creating a navigation menu, adding the pages to the navigation menu, adding menu icons, 
adding view my site and log out buttons to the navigation menu, etc. The entire process could take many hours if you do it manually, but this wizard does it all automatically so you can save hours of work. Once the pages have been created, you can click on go to pages and you'll see all the pages that have been added. If you want to customize your front-end admin pages, you can open any page in the front-end and start using the quick settings panel to edit the page. As you can see, the pages have been created and added to the navigation menu. Here's the WP Admin page content, and here are the View My Site and Log Out buttons. If you hide the Quick Settings panel, you will get a better preview of what the front-end dashboard will look like. As you can see, the navigation menu is sticky. Now let's take a look at what you can do with the Quick Settings panel. As you can see, the content of the admin pages is displayed correctly in the front-end. This happens with all the pages of the back-end WordPress admin dashboard. You can customize your front-end admin pages by hiding any elements like texts, buttons, fields, etc. Just click on Hide Element, and you'll see that the elements highlight on mouse hover. When you find the element you want to remove, click on it. We recommend saving changes after hiding any element to make sure changes apply before reloading the page. As you can see, the element we hit doesn't appear on this page anymore. Besides, you can edit text like button text, field names, etc. When you click on edit text, all the text that can be edited will be highlighted and you can start changing them as you like. Once you're done changing all the text you want, click on stop editing text and save the changes. On admin pages that display lists of products, posts, pages, etc., you can hide specific columns to simplify the pages and make them more minimalistic. Remember that you can work on each page individually to make sure your users will only see the fields they need to manage their online stores. You can also change page names, URLs, and anything else you want. This is the time to customize your front-end dashboard as you see fit. Here is a preview of what the product page will look like in the front-end dashboard. Once we have finished the platform, and our users create and manage products for their online stores. As you can see, it's a clean interface and it's completely different from the normal WP Admin dashboard. Now we will select the home page of our front-end dashboard site. We recommend you to change it to one of the dashboard pages. Just go to the reading settings and select the page you want. For example, we will select the products page because that's the page we want our users to open when they are redirected to the front-end dashboard site. Now let's take a few minutes to select the global dashboard settings. We just need to move to the front end admin settings page. In this section, we will focus on the most important settings, but you can take your time with the different settings you could select. Each field has an explanatory text that will help you understand what it is for. In the general settings section, we will disable the admin notices on the front end and redirect users to the list of posts or products after publishing or creating content with pending review status. We will also enable these settings to hide the pages containing the WP Frontend Admin shortcode and the WooCommerce pages. This means that if you decide to allow your platform users to view and manage pages on the frontend, they won't see either the pages containing the WP Frontend Admin shortcode nor the WooCommerce default pages. Now we just need to save the changes. Let's move to the access restrictions settings. This field allows us to define which WP admin URLs can be accessible from the front end. Since we already created the pages, let's just click this link to allow the pages that contain the WP front end admin shortcode. This will add the URLs that are inside the shortcodes to the group of pages that can be used in the front end. The other pages of the WordPress administration panel will not be accessible from the front end. This field allows us to select which user rows can access the normal WP Admin dashboard. This means that only users with the capability selected here will be able to access the back-end dashboard. All other users will be automatically redirected to the front-end dashboard. In this field, you need to paste the URL of the front-end dashboard. Preferably, we will paste the front-end dashboard site URL in this field because we previously selected the products page as the home page of our site, but you can select any other page and paste the URL here. In this field, we can select which user roles will use the front-end dashboard. 
In this case, we are going to select the Shop Manager user role, since that will be the user role that we will automatically assign to the clients of our platform when creating a new site. We'll also add the Administrator role, but the role we'll focus is the Shop Manager role. We'll see more on that in future lessons, but for now we just need to select the user role here. We'll hide the front-end dashboard pages when a required plugin or theme is deactivated. Finally, let's save changes. In order for these settings to propagate to all sites in our WildCloud application, we need to apply them to the version of our application. For this, WP Frontend Admin generates a configuration zip file that we can install as a plugin on our application version. This way, we won't have to do the same thing every time we apply changes to the dashboard site, since the configuration file will be automatically updated and used by all sites or tenants of our application. This is one of the great advantages of the WildCloud ecosystem, since all sites share the same code base, meaning plugins, themes, language files, etc. After saving the changes to our WP Frontend Admin settings, we need to move to the Multi-Tenant tab and click on Download File. Now we can open our application's version editor. Once we're on the WP Admin dashboard of our application's version, let's upload the zip file as a plugin. Please note that you don't need to activate this plugin because it will work as the front-end dashboard configuration file, regardless of whether it's activated or deactivated. This configuration file contains all the dashboard settings, and it also syncs the WP front-end admin license across all your sites. After installing the configuration file as a plugin, you need to deploy the version so that all tenants share the file. But before doing that, let's update any plugins or themes. Once we're done, let's go back to the version details and click on Deploy. Here we need to add a name and some comments about the changes we've made. This is how you can create a front-end dashboard for your e-commerce platform. In the next lesson, we are going to create a site template that will be cloned to client sites every time they create a new site on our platform. This way, they won't have to design or configure the site from scratch.